video is intended for anyone who is brand new to Windows 8 or is thinking about upgrading. What I intend to show you is the basic information that I've learned over the past couple of weeks of using this system. I am far from an expert. This is more of a beginner video from a beginner. What you're looking at now is the start page, also known as the Metro page of Windows newest operating system, Windows 8. As you can see, there are a bunch of applications that have been put into different sections that you can scroll through. And each application is a tile, as they're calling them. Some of these tiles are actually live. See how they're moving? You can turn this feature off because you can manipulate these tiles. If you right click on it, it will bring up some options. You can unpin it from the start, which would take it off of this page. You can uninstall it, which would take it off of the computer. You can make it smaller, or you can turn the live tile off. So let's turn the live tile off on this one so that it's no longer moving. And let's take the tile above it, right click on it, and let's make it smaller. It's that simple. Uh, these tiles can be moved within the sections that they're in, or they can be moved to another section also. Um, if you want to see all the tiles that you have on your stock page without scrolling through, you could come down to the bottom right hand corner here and see that minus button, just click it and it would make them all small and then you would just go to the section for, that has the application you're looking for. To bring it back, just left click anywhere on the page. Now there are a lot more applications on your computer that are not on the stock page and to find all of them, anywhere there is not a tile, right click go down here to the lower right hand corner where it says all apps click that and these are all of the applications that are on a computer uh, these can be if you right click on it you can pin them to the start which would actually take this one I believe it's already there anyway but you take this one and it would be on the start page when you bring it up I could pin it to the task bar which would be over on your desktop you can open it in a new window run it as an administrator or open the file location to get back to where you was, just click all apps again. Where do you get apps from? Well, Microsoft conveniently put a tile in here called store. You click on that, and if you scroll through here, there are different sections, and they are all full of apps that you can get. Some cost money, some are free. Let's click games. You go in here, there are 2,251 applications that you can get. Some cost money, some don't. You break it down into subcategories, what you're looking for. You can break it down by price. See, some are free, some are free with a trial, some are paid. And you can sort by no worthiness, newest, highest price, lowest price, whatever. Let's click on the first one. And see, this one, uh, Angry Bird Space, would cost you $4.99. It does have 296 ratings, and it is just a tad over four stars. So, obviously, people like this one. But that's how you would get them. You would just click and then buy it. Try it, whatever you're going to end up doing. I downloaded a pinball game and it was a lot of fun and it was free. So let's get back to the storefront. Okay, what I want to talk about now is the hotspots that Microsoft put into Windows 8. On application pages, there are five hotspots. Let's start with the first one. We'll go to the upper left hand corner. And as you can see, a thumbnail opens up. That's the most recent application I was on before this one. Now, if you had more open during the session, just slide the cursor down and it will open up all the recent applications where you can click on any one you want and go back there like, such as now if I go back up into here you see the very the very first one most recent is the store so that's how you're getting back and forth so if you come down to the bottom left hand corner you'll see a thumbnail open up and that's your start page if you want to get back to where you was come back up here you go back to the store where you was. What I do want to show you though is when you come in here for your most recent applications and you pull it down, if you look all the way down the bottom, the start menu also shows up here too. They do like to get you back to that start page. The next spot I want to show you is if you come to the center, the cursor will, if you hover, turn into a hand. If you left click and pull down, see how it gets smaller and continue to pull down, that will close the application for you also. The last two hotspots are located on the right hand side of the screen and they will bring up the charm bar. See those five icons? If I go down to the lower right hand corner, it will bring up the same five icons, move up to activate the charm bar and you'll see you have settings, devices, start, share, and search. Now in search, depending on what you're looking for, let's just type in music, we'll search the whole computer. 
And under apps, I have two that have to do with music. I have 13 different settings that have to do with music. And I have 48 different files that have to do with music. Moving on, if I were to open up, say, Maps, because the Charm Bible will react differently for different applications, and say, I really like this map, so I want to share it. Well, I can send it to my friends, or I can email it. If I really like it that much, I can come in to Devices, and I can send it to my printer, make a hard copy of it. Now, the third one here, Start, any guesses what this will do? Uh, it will take you right back to your Start menu. Now, for people who are used to Windows 7, XP, Vista, whatever, there's a desktop. Well, Windows 8 does have a desktop. And it's a tile. You just click on it and see how things sort of look familiar right now, except if you notice down here in the lower left-hand corner, there is no Start button. If you're more comfortable working in the desktop, you can just bring some of the programs that you use most often over and pin them to your taskbar. As I showed you earlier, let's take uh, Microsoft Word, right-click on it, go down, choose Pin It to the Taskbar, then when I go back to the desktop, there it is, it's in my taskbar. If I click on it, it brings it right up. The other thing is, as I explained, the Charm Bar works differently with different applications. So if I go into Settings while I'm at the desktop, I can bring up the old familiar control panel. I can make all the changes in here the way that I'm used to doing it. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is how I shut down. If you come into settings, there's your power button. You can put it to sleep, you can shut it down, or you can restart it. So I hope this video helps you at least be able to move around Windows 8. This is what I've learned for the last two weeks, and I thank you so much for watching.